Well, these two things can only mean one thing. Many of y'all have never seen the Rockinator. Rockinator's been in hibernation for a couple, three years since the sand replenishment. But now she's out. She'll go into action today. The Rockinator. I'm getting ready to go pick up the mumbles, man. We got two guys from this outfit joining us today. Steve and Frank. Steve Pacifico, and I don't know Frank's last name, but I guess I'll learn it in a few minutes. They've been in Florida for a while, and now they're headed north, but they stopped in here last night and going to hunt with us today at the cave. Stand by. Well, I've only seen pictures of these guys. I'm pretty sure that's Steve right there. And you know what that is. That's the Cavezilla. I see another guy down in the dam saying that must be Frank. No steps going down Hell no, ain't no steps. Where's all the tickets at? Sir, how are you? <laughs> how you doing? Good. Very nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm Steve Pacifico. Yes, sir. Down here is Frank Lopergola. He'll make his way down here. You are, sir, Denny? Yes, sir, I'm Denny. What's your name? Steve Pacifico, sir. Okay. From Detect nice America. It's great. There's Frank. He's moved down here with us. I dug two targets. I couldn't find a second one. The first one was a pull tab. Old pull tab ring, I should say. It fell through. I had to chase it a little bit. Mumbles, man, he's on the target. A lot of iron sounds here today. Oops, what's that? All right. Go for lunch. Got a solid 19, but it's kind of big. I don't know what it is. Well, it's one scoop deep. Might be a bottle cap. No, some of the odd thing. Oh, a big bullet. We got about two hours, but the tide gets off. This should be good dry by then. Got a 14 now. Yep. I found another bullet about six inches from the first one that's what the second target was that's not very deep today
Well, I never did find that 14. This is a solid 10 right here. Oh, I see it already. Bottle cap. Look at that. Ha! Solid 10 bottle cap. I know this rockinator is heavy, about six pounds. Oh, see, so you just found a stainless ring, a pendant, and a quarter. I found a penny coming down. This is a good spot here because it's got deep, you know. And I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of targets around here too, so yeah. we might want to check this okay. out a little bit. All right, thank you. As soon as I cross under here, about 50 feet. The Rockzilla. Rockzilla. I'm going to hunt around here for a couple more minutes though before I go across. The Steve's on this hot goose. You better check it out. Rockzilla coming. Rockzilla. Rockzilla. They get worse down that way. Then he's dug something right there. I think somebody in front of us might be Bobby. Got a four here. Look at that spring. Can you see that spring right there? They ain't reading that spring. Must be some iron around the spring. That's laying right there. Four. Let's see what four is. Right there, whatever it is. Oh, the little teeny ring. Not the kind of ring you're talking about. Like a little earring, you see it? A little teeny earring. This whole area was like this once. It's all under our feet, but you can see what it looks like. Just like this everywhere. In this one spot. How you making out? I got a nickel, dime, and penny. Got a couple of keys. I got a, I got something that's kind of, kind of cool. It's a penny. I got a sinker. Who's that over there, Bobby? Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know what kind of penny it is. Look at that. It's like in a rock. Yeah. Grow, well, grow it well, around. It might be Indian head penny. Can't tell. But there's some Indian heads in here. Been there a while. Though. That an old nickel from under that rock right there. Then he said he dug a couple keys. I got the top of a key. And another sound, a decent sound right here. An 18. Let's see what 18 is. Well, 
Well, we got it out. That's the only thing I see. Let's see if that's it. Yep, I don't know what that is, but that's it. 18. We have to be what's it, we'll have to crack it when we get home. All right. Well, it says we got it. Let's take it out here and see if we can find it. I see it, but I don't know what it is. No, it's a dog tag or something, maybe. No, it's the top of another key. Top of the key? That's the second one. I just, I just dug a crater to the moon. Well, two junk chains, two different chains, neck chains, all tangled with each other. So somebody had his girlfriend's chain in his, his pocket. And there you go. Now I got them. Plenty of stuff in here, buddy. Yeah. And hot rocks that are driving me a little nuts. All right, this is the second target. I think we dug it out of that hole, but I ain't positive about the new target. Well, it went very deep. 14. That's the, that's the other part of that key. <laughs> How about that? The other end of it. I'll be dang. This is a 31. We got it. 31. I guess that's it, whatever that is. It says there's a seven right here with it in the, in the scrap pile. Or the tailings or whatever you want to call it. A seven. I don't see no sevens. I don't see anything looks like a seven. I don't know. There's a nice twelve right there. Twenty-one right there. It's 
screeching. Look at it. Let's go back to this 12. Get this block out of the way. Nice solid 12 11. Move around this way on it. Well, we got it, sis. I see a penny, I mean, a nickel looks like. Yeah, old nickel. Don't look like much on that side, but this side is interesting. Something right there, something right there. I like it. Cool ticketo. I bet no, that's a fine ticket right there, Mr. Frank, I tell you. Two chains at once. All, I think. What'd you get? Boyfriend said, yeah, I'll hold it in my pocket for you. <laughs> Just two jumpers, but they're all two different chains tangled up together in the same clump. Huh. And I think there's still a piece in that hole. I was tired of chasing it. How are you making that? Yeah, nothing. Look at that. What is it? I don't know, but I like it. What is it? I got no clue. Got two somethings there, though. Is it? No, I thought, like, not a lighter or nothing like that. No, it? no. Might be a lipstick case. Piece of a lantern, maybe. It is a, uh, it's a light, probably a running light off of an old, oh, big, big thing. fendered car. Oh. There's your ground. The ground would have been copper, and then it would have had a wire. It's gone oh, now. Yeah. It would have oh, had a lens okay. in here. I got you. It has to be old because they don't put stuff in. No, nope. not like that no more. The car might be somewhere else. <coughs> we found a lot of car parts in here. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of iron in. Well, it looks rock free here, right? Well, it's not. It's just covered up. It looks just like this. This is a second set of rocks. Look at that move down here and look around a little bit. Pretty, it. They covered all these up so people could swim here. And it was covered for like three years. But it's kind of bad conditions right now for swimming. Barefooted anyway. The guru stopped by for moral support. He's been hunting the west of us about a half of a mile. He's tired, he's going home now. He's been hunting for three hours. The guru. I got tired of digging sinkers, so I just quit. <laughs> he says he's been digging a lot of gray matter. I got one little one I didn't show you. I did find one so far. Yeah, I'll send you a picture of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a, that's 50 cents right there. Fourteen. Come on, Rockinator, get in there, boy. That's right, I see you trying. There you go. Well, get them old boulders out of there. It's, it's about quarter to four now. I don't know, I didn't bring my phone. Uh, you didn't buy a phone? That's in the truck. Uh, uh, I've been four days in a row, I ain't probably ain't got more than four dollars. All together. I got a bunch of sinkers. That's 
Sounds jumpy now. Yeah. Where's Beaver? I ain't seen him he's, he's on duty. Uh -oh. Pretty nice sounding sound here. 14, I think it is. If I can get these rocks out of the way to get to it. See some iron looking stuff now. See it? I think we're just wasting our time here with that big iron bleed off. We'll give it one more go here. Oh, we might have it, whatever it is. I see something hanging out of scoop. Yeah, that's what it is. what it is but there it is here we got a nice solid 24 solid right now anyway oh no more iron bleed ha I don't like the looks of that look at it irons off we got it that nah, don't even make a sound It's 446. I just dropped the mumbles man off. I gotta get home. The dog Jack will be fretting bad. He gets he frets bad in the afternoon if I'm not home. You know what we gotta do. I knows he'll be upset. I'll get back to you. You see that? That's my first scoop. This is a scoop graveyard back here. I just put the rocking letter back here. Never to come back out again this year. I hope. I have a recover. Scoop, scoop graveyard. Stop. His ankle works okay. That doesn't seem to hurt him. So it's up in here. Bucket sitting out there. Is it full of balls still? No. It's gonna rain. It comes on 100% charged, but you can't make it work. It won't swipe up, it won't swipe left, it won't swipe right. It just won't swipe. I plugged it in my computer, it says unlock to use accessories. So I figured I'd soak it in some rice a little longer. Well, here's Roundup. Got a what's it here, what's it here, what's it here? Two nickels, two pennies, teeny eye earring, some bullets, one gray matter. You saw the keys. This is the cool one. I don't know whether to crack it or leave it like it is. But you can see, it's, it's pretty cool. I got a better picture of it. It's got some kind of brass looking piece sticking out there. And this looks like, I don't know, it's got a little arm sticking out right there. But it sounds good. And these, both of these sound fantastic. 
I don't know what's in them. We'll have to crack them tomorrow. And if you want me to, we'll crack this one tomorrow too. One big piece of pottery. Or floor tile, probably. We found a bunch of floor tile in there. I think that's probably what it is. Okay. Well, here's what's on the GoPro. What Denny found yesterday? There's about 100 or 200 pictures of a kitchen, one shot of the kitchen. There's about the same number of pictures of the guy's yard looking at his front door as two cars. And then there are three videos at the bottom. It looks like they, it looks like it's shot underwater, just bouncing along on the bottom. But you can't make out nothing but sand, but it looks like sand. So I'm not even going to bother to show them to you, but that's what they are. It's just hundreds of pictures. It was on when it fell in the water. Bounced along the Pretty cool. Bottom.